When we're talking about urinary physiology or urinalysis, we basically can know that urine is filtered blood. It's most, mostly made of water, urea, sodium, potassium, phosphorus, uh, creatine, uric acid, uh, and those are normal constituents that we would find inside our urine. Urine itself should have a slightly yellow hue and it should have a freshly voided smell. It shouldn't smell pungent or sour. Uh, it shouldn't be dark red or brown. Uh, it shouldn't be also clear. If it's very clear, you may be taking in too much water. Um, normally, the, the average pH of urine is slightly acidic, with the average pH being about 6. The normal pH range can be between 4.5 and 8. If you eat more meat, you're going to have a lower pH. If you eat more vegetables or being a vegetarian, you're going to have a more alkaline or a more neutral pH. When we talk about the specific gravity, the specific gravity of urine talks about the ratio between the solutes and the solvent of your solution. A solution, the solvent is mainly water or distilled water, and the solutes are the particles within it, urea, sodium, potassium being solutes. The normal range should be between 1.001 and 1.030. We use this scale because if we look at pure water or distilled water, water is pure being 1.00000. The more stuff we have in our urine, the more it could indicate infections, proteins, um, and, and things like that. So when we look at a UA strip, we can see in the urea strip, the first thing it's going to look at are white blood cells. Are they negative or are they positive? Again, this could indicate infections. Uh, nitrites could be um, presence of E. coli. If we look at our urobilligens, we look at proteins, we can look at the pH, uh, look for blood, uh, specific gravity, uh, ketones, uh, bilirubin, and glucose. So all of these things on this UA strip, we should expect to see normal unless the person had a problem. If they had high ketones, then maybe they're breaking down a lot or losing a lot of fat, that could be a sign of diabetes. Same thing with sugar. Um, so all of these can be, uh, uh, again, indicating factors. If someone's on a high Atkins diet, they may have more protein in their urine, uh, but then again, it could represent other things if a female is pregnant as far as preeclampsia. So this right here, we basically take the dipstick, we take a, um, a fresh urine sample by um, doing what's called a semi-clean catch. We would go to the um, bathroom with a cup, we would start our stream, we would stop our stream, we would insert the cup, we would finish, we would stop, move the cup out of the way, and bring it back to class. Once we have the cup in the class, with the classroom setting, with some gloves on and a paper towel, we would take a clean uh, dipstick strip and put it in the urine for about 30 seconds and then take it out and let it dry for about a minute. We would then hold it up to the test strip bottle and be able to look at normal ranges and abnormal ranges. Once we're done with that, we would simply take the urine back to the bathroom, dump it in the toilet, and then from there we would wash our hands and come back to class. It technically takes not even two minutes to do. So that is the urinalysis portion of the lab.